Hello, everyone. Talk to him, I guess. Base of here. Best Welcome to it. a Saturday morning. What is it? Afternoon. Whatever. Different times across the world. Uh, D and D stream. We're gonna be playing some more quarantine with some friends. We got uh, another friend joining in, and uh, we're down a player though. Uh, didn't hear from them, unfortunately. Uh, so not sure what's going on there, but. Uh, we're gonna actually be starting our official session zero tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. Hope you guys are too. Uh, but without, uh, we're starting pretty late because we were having some technical issues. We couldn't get uh, some players into the game and all sorts of other crap. Um, but I see green and I hate it. Yeah, whatever. We'll switch to a different scene so I don't see it because you know that works. Where is my scene button? This one. There we go. So I think but uh, let's to... switch our scene here yeah. and we'll. Say hello to all our, our lovely have any friends. Ideas on a name? Oh, I hear them talking already. <laughs> Sorry, say that again. It's breaking up for me. Still in my head. <laughs> I forgot. I muted. A you want a pet is panther? A or a Hold on a minute. For a panther. There we go. Uh, yeah. Is that hey guys. Okay. Yeah. These are some janky headphones. Hey. <laughs> hello. Apparently, we're having some more technical difficulties still. But uh, yeah. So we're live. We're ready to go. Um. Pretty much uh, what I said to everyone is we're going to go down the line and everyone's going to induce themselves and their characters and uh, any sort of fun facts or motivations that they may have as we go with the campaign. And uh, I guess without further ado, let's start with Lushu. Ah, okay then. So what's going on, people? It's your boy, Serial Gamer TV, and uh, I will be playing... Lushu. Lushu is a Elderin uh, elf uh, who's a rogue. Um, a quick little backstory for him. Um, he suffered some bad tragedies which led him to stow away onto a new land via a merchant ship. Uh, he finds it really hard to trust people, always has a motive to make money. Um, he has got a fear of fire um which later on in the story maybe he'll reveal more about his backstory so you find out why he is but he has got a fear of fire uh long silver hair black sort of leather armor dual wielding daggers classic rogue um pale blue skin red eyes um and all around just one of the best thieves um there is he grew up uh in a thieves guild so to speak um, but that's the basic intro for Lushu. Rock on. Uh, oh. Alright, I, I see shadows. I was gonna say Echo can go, but she might not be quite ready. It's okay, I'm gonna get help right real quick. Hang on. You're good. You uh, your other Pancog, go for it. Hey, um, I am a half-elf, uh, noble... Despite my birth, I do not place myself above the other uh, people. Um, we all have the same blood, therefore, any better than any else. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, respect, respect to me is earned. Uh, it is not due to me due to my position, although I will take advantage of it. Uh, also, I have a weakness to the carnal pleasures. That's going to be great. I am... <laughs> Go ahead. I'm going to stop right there. Oh, you're, you're going to stop right there? Okay. Uh, Rokax, you up. I'm, uh, I'm Rokax. Um, a uh, Goliath fighter. Uh, let's see. He... Uh, uh, Rokax, uh, grew up, uh, in a tribal community in the mountains, um, and he ended up leaving, leaving the tribe, um, due to certain things that had happened. Uh, he doesn't feel, um, like he has a place there anymore, so now he, he wanders around, um, you know, looking, looking to help people out, um, and earn money at the same time. Uh, he's chaotic good, um, so he, uh, he tends to shoot for the right thing, but the law doesn't necessarily matter to him. Um, more of a personal right and wrong. Uh, he tends to to face his problems uh, pretty directly. Uh, not a lot of thinking before acting uh, uh, when he does decide to act. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. I think he's very very large. Very large person. 
So. Oh yeah, did everyone introduce their characters, class, and race? Uh, Pancog, I don't know if you did. My race. Oh, you. We don't hear you. Your no. mic might be too far. You're like breaking up. Yeah, we can't hear you. Oh, I think she's muted. Maybe. Okay. Well, while Pancog is doing that, Rokax, did you? You said you're a fighter. Did you say your race? Yeah, I mentioned I was Goliath. Goliath cool. fighter. Okay. Hello. Okay, we can hear you. Oh my god, thing. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's a setting that you guys can individually do, but you can turn on the turn down the audio quality. Maybe that would help. I'm not sure. Um Lushu said your race and class, that was good. Uh Echo, go for it. Uh you're muted as well. Hi, I'm Creation. <laughs> I'm playing Echo. Um, Echo is a high elf and also a warlock. Um, she finds it hard to trust uh, due to her past. Um, she she does get lonely. Um, she does want company. Uh, and friendships but she she doesn't want to trust them or she just can't so instead of forming strong bonds she just forms <laughs> friendships here and there uh, and bonds here and there and then uh but when she does form a friendship or uh, meets a, a, a friend or a, a clan she really backs them and, and she really finds a, a bond with them and if anyone dares come near them she she will harm them um she will get emotional about it um she she um <clears throat> she has an emotional uh sorry she's very mysterious um this is almost accidental because she's uh she's um <clears throat> a mystery to her own self she found a oracle one day and uh inside this oracle there are spirits the spirits called to her because the oracle once was stolen from once it where it was from and it wants to go back home it, it can't get there it needs it needs someone it took everything from her she was once a very very skilled high high mm. elf um so uh, this oracle took everything from her but it gave her her youth um she's been on this realm for thousands of years trying to find um the, their home it this oracle um can can uh help her or if they think that uh, she is not helping them, it, it will not help her. Basically, she's on a mission to find their home so she can get herself back again. And she's also failed to get all her skills back. I'm sorry that was so long-winded. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Uh, we got some good backstory there. You guys can hear me now. Uh, we can hear you. Uh, were you were you muted or something? <laughs> He's muted again. Oh no! Oh no! Um, Corin, go ahead. So my character's name is Corin. Um, she is a blue female dragon born. Um, she came from. She no, lives in the grasslands, and the um, she's from the Fae. And she, one day her, um, her village got attacked, um, of course, uh, she was in the, the next in line to be in charge of 
taking care of a library that is full of her ancestors' um, secrets, uh, druids, druids, and that got destroyed in the raid. Um, Of course, that's how Corrin kind of went on her adventure, and she also went on her adventure to kind of understand humans a bit. Um, She knows that there's bad people, but she also knows that there's good people, so she kind of wants to understand them and live peacefully with them. She's looking to make connections, too. Yeah. And uh, probably undo some of the programming that she already has, huh? Yeah. Cool. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, we were supposed to have a sixth player as well, uh, Stubborn Birch. She was going to be joining us with uh, her monk. Um, her name was Wire, or their name is Wire. And um, I didn't get a, couldn't get a hold of them, her for some reason, and uh, hopefully she's okay. Um, I know she's been having some stuff with work, but uh, I already came up with an idea on how we can pull her in uh, for next session if uh, she's still wanting to be able to join us. But we are going to be starting some session zero right now. Are you guys ready? Oh yeah, oh, I'm so ready. Okay, um, I'm gonna give you Let's guys. Go, some, my dude. I'm gonna give you guys some pregame uh, information here, just so you guys can know how the uh, campaign is going to going to roll. Um, first off. I am not going to assume that you guys are heroes. You know, um, act as your character would normally act or that you feel they would act with, you know, I want you guys to play your character and feel empowered to play them. However, that's not, doesn't give you free agency to try to intentionally ruin other people's fun. You know what I mean? Like, I trust you all that you're going to play, uh, you know, to have everyone have fun. But if you feel like your character strongly going to do something that may be counter, uh, productive or intuitive, to something else that's happening in the campaign, go for it. I, I trust that you guys aren't going to try to, you know, ruin other people's fun. Uh, so that's first point. Second point is, the threat of death is actually going to be very real in this campaign. So, you know, play safely, play smart. If you need to pull out, pull out. You know, there, there's not going to be any sort of... Uh, how, how can I say this? Um, if, you, if you feel it's going to be opportunistic to flee, <coughs> fucking flee. You know, I'm going to I'll throw things at you that are going to be a challenge, may even be deadly. Play smart, you know, um, I'm going to play the characters as they would play. You know, if you're going to try to kill them, they're going to try to kill you. You know, they're going to try to take you out, especially if they're intelligent. You know, if there's some stupid creatures or whatever, they're pro- they might flee because if their numbers are dwindling. But if it's an intelligent creature and you guys are fighting them, they're going to play intelligent. They're going to use tactics. They're going to use strategy. They're going to try to take you down as much as you're going to try to take them down. So be aware. And uh, try to be aware of player knowledge versus your character's knowledge. But uh, People may not know what that means. Player knowledge is you as a player. Like, you may know something that your character may not. So try to be aware of that when you're making decisions or whatever you're doing. Um, just because um, it helps with the immersion of your character. Also, be aware of when you're speaking out of character. If you're around other NPCs or stuff, because if you're speaking out of character, you guys, you know, like strategizing or something, I may take that as an opportunity to that, like, that person actually is listening to you. So be aware. Try to always make your, be in the headspace of your character and speak as your character. You get what I'm saying? Uh, so, always like, say yeah. um, out of character whenever like I'm talking out of character, so that may help a little bit. Yes, like it, it'll it helps me when when I am a player to s- always be speaking as my character would. Like you can always ask questions like, "Hey, can I roll a perception check here?" Of course, you can ask that stuff. But if you're like in a shop somewhere and you are you're like discussing on how to distract this dude so someone can go rob him or whatever. I might take that as an opportunity to be like, no, no, he hears you saying that. You, get, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. I, mm. think a, I think a good example, like, I mean, if, if, uh, if two player characters are discussing strategy or, or stuff, but their actual characters are, say, across the room, um, we're not telepathic. For, exactly. So in order for those two characters to communicate, they would have to be yelling across the room. 
Exactly. So, um, you know, even though you may not be speaking in character for, you know, me to give Lushu some, some information across the room, I would need to, you know, other people may overhear that. So there's just instances like that is what he's referring to. Yeah. Perfect situation. Um, I guess uh, something that would help too is always be thinking, what would your character think? What would your character say? Um, and the final note is try to, uh, Talk to each other in the best of your ability in your first person. You know, use each other's uh, character names and stuff and address each other and, you know, do what you can to play in the first person as best you can. And uh, hopefully we'll have something crazy awesome uh, coming up. Um, I'm going to switch the scene here real quick. And I think we can actually start. You guys ready? Finally, after weeks of planning, we wanted to get this done. Yeah. Oh, so ready. Cool. Um, obviously, this thing is not set up properly. Um, so, you got... Oh, we need to do some backstory here because uh, some things have already happened with a uh, session negative zero or negative one. Um, so, uh, to those of you that were here uh, last week, we did a session in negative one uh, just to kind of... We all wanted to play, but we didn't have everyone available. So, uh, we did something that is canon to the campaign however it's not gonna it didn't affect the major storyline it was just more most of us learning the tool and having fun now um quick recap uh lushu echo pancog and rokax they all kind of met in a tavern during a festival and uh some crazy things went down the video is up on the youtube i'm not gonna go into much detail if you want to see it go check it out um but essentially um Four of these characters already have now a little bit of a history with each other. Uh, Echo and Pancog, you know, they, they were able to... Uh, <laughs> Echo was able to sleep off her, her massive drinking hangover uh, with the help of Pancog buying her a room. Uh, so they may have, like, a little more deep of a friendship there moving forward. But that festival was a couple weeks ago. Um, it was a massive festival. You know, it it went on for at least a week and now things are starting to die down people have uh left to go to their own hometowns and stuff um so the majority sorry to interrupt my dude your cam stopped on stream my cam did stop on stream thank you for yeah. letting me know no worries. <laughs> i love when that happens and now guess what how much you guys want to bet yeah, right how much you want to bet that it's going to come back all green weird blue color oh it, it does that whenever <laughs> Uh, I'm using Discord. Um, let's see. The um, roll perception check. Right. <laughs> Don't even notice that my own cam cracked out. Whoa. It's not even show. Oh. What happened to my webcam? It's... I see it. But it's not showing up on the scene. Something is very strange. Now it's just all you. <laughs> there it goes. All right. Well, it fixed itself. Okay. I did nothing. Um, I guess I'll keep an really? eye on that. But thank you for letting me know, by the way. Uh, forgot what I was at. Oh, yeah. Um, the festival is somewhat over. Um, they're still cleaning up. There's still some uh, merchants still trying to get some a little additional money or they brought so much stuff and they're just trying to get a little bit uh, left over. Um, but you're all still here in the town. Uh, I'll probably... Let's uh, share this a little map for so you guys can understand where you're all living. If it's going to load... Man, this is uh, having a problem. Just loading things. Let's see. Mama, I hear you slurping, and it's disgusting. Okay, this should be what you want. Share sheet. Okay. Um, oh, we need we need some sounds, guys. Yo, this looks sick. Seem to fit. There we go. Um, let's get some sounds. Hmm. How about some medieval city life? 
And, uh... Here you go. Get some tunes. All right. I need to see how it looks in the, the player screen. It looks okay. Okay. So, yes. Now, it's difficult for you guys to see. But all your characters are here. Uh, it looks like... Some of your characters have disappeared. <laughs> what the heck? Um. Well, there. Uh, are you guys seeing uh, or question marks? Yes. You're seeing question marks too. Yes. Why are yep. you guys seeing question marks? <laughs> You're not supposed to be seeing question marks at all. Um. Okay. Well. Oh, yeah, I see question marks. Oh. Well, those there, were supposed to be where players were at. <laughs> I don't know why that decided to uh, muck up all of a sudden. Okay, whatever. Um, anyways, your characters are there. <laughs> you are uh, in uh, Aldaria. Uh, like I said, the the market is dying down. Although it is very lively, you are in a massive metro metropolis, as I said before. Um, and... I suppose I should explain where you guys are at. I need my GM screen so I can remember. Okay, Pancog, you over by some barrels over by that uh, big tent area, and you are chatting up a uh, little uh, a beer matron. Because, you know, that's what you do. Uh, Lushu, you are down by the well on the bottom left. Uh, you're, you've kind of been uh, following around this this elf dude that seems... He, he, he understands that he quote-unquote hired you to protect him during the festival area and uh you're kind of seeing if he's worth a little more coin than he's given you so you're kind of just following him around seeing if there's a chance to uh maybe uh ma make some more from him echo you are down Hello. on the southernmost tent with uh looks like all the fruits and stuff there you're looking for some uh special herbs that uh you may have missed out on during the festival and uh, see if there's any special prices going on uh the person right here is supposed to be, uh, elite. It was going to be Birch. Um, Corin, you are by the bigger fountain that looks like a flower. Um, you are in the city and since it's very hot out and you being a lizard kind, um, you are very hot. And since you don't have a way to regulate your own body heat, you are actually in the... <laughs> The fountain itself trying to cool off. I can't pick you up for some reason. There you go. Um, oh, you were moving the other one, but you can't tell because you have uh, question marks. You're fine. Um, and then... It's okay. And then, uh, Rokox, you are in the northernmost uh, hut. And uh, this is a flower vendor up there. Uh, he has some very unique and rare flowers that uh, you are checking out. Uh, because you said you really like flowers. Because they are delicate and a fragger, <laughs> and uh, so you're uh, just kind of talking to him. Uh, you can, you guys can choose to buy them and stuff if you want. Um, but that's where everyone's kind of sitting. You're all kind of next to some vendors and stuff, and other people in the city. It's still pretty crowded. I wasn't gonna fill the, out the city. That's insane. Um, but so it's about midday. It's getting pretty hot. Uh, some background on Aldaria. It is a massive city. Uh, houses. Uh, some, its stables are some of the finest in the land with some of the best bred and strongest horses that are steeds you can find. Um, this place is home to many, many uh, high-skilled and high-tiered artisans uh, from blast, blacksmiths to leather workers to potion makers. Um, if anyone is anyone in this world, they try to come to Aldaria to make a living because... Every, there's every opportunity in this city. The, all the roads are paved. There's no dirt roads in this world. Even the, like, quote-unquote, slums areas of the city are pretty high class compared to the rest of the world. There's no dirt roads even going through the slums. They are all paved. This is a very, very well-off city that has grown and expanded and enveloped many other, other cities. All the cultures, all kinds of languages are here. You can find anything you want in the city. Um, 
probably all over the place. It will take quite a while to cross to city borders um, to find things, but this city is the city of opportunity. Um, you are maybe um, to you're you're kind of close to the city walls. To the the west is uh, some city walls. Um, it is a beautiful day out. Um, <laughs> Corin's probably a little little toasted because uh, her dragonkin uh, heritage. Uh, but you're all kind of just uh, enjoying yourself at this uh, post city or a post festival situation. Um, you're trying to take in all the view. It's beautiful out. Um, however, something uh, very strange is happening. Uh, people are suddenly starting to fade. They are fading out. They're turning into ash and flowing in to uh, the. Uh, why can't I speak? The air. The air is kind of blowing off. People are starting to scream. And, whoa, something's weird is happening. Um, and they're just kind of disappearing. You don't know what's happening. What the heck? I don't know what's happening. The game is freaking out. Yeah, the map's gone. Uh, can you guys open up your images and maps? And uh, click on the, the night. Do you see that? Hmm, I wonder... Click on... I've got it, yeah. You got it? I right. can see the images, too. There you go. Yeah, click on that. <clears throat> oh, oh, my... Uh, uh... What am I clicking? Uh, click on images and maps to your right. Yep. <clears throat> and then um, click on the, the only map that you guys can see. I see a bunch of stuff in here. Do yeah, you? I see a lot of stuff. Yeah. This is very... very Oh, wait, wait, hang so, on. Market so, map night. Oh, go to uncategorize. Yeah, change your group filter to uncategorize. Rather than oh, I see it all now. Yeah, night time. I see the symbols, everything. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. What'd you say? But I think I, I, I pulled up the map and I see tiny little images. Yes, that's exactly what you need. Um, so zoom in a little bit and you can find your characters. And then if you click on your character, it'll give you line of sight. Can you guys see that? Sweet. I didn't even have to click. Mine just, mine just shows up. Oh, nice. Mm. That's what I like to hear. Okay. So, um, all of a sudden, the, the light starts to fade to, like, a, a purple. It looks like, all of a sudden, within seconds, dust started appearing. Except it's a, it has a, a purple hue to it. And all these people start fading from existence. Yeah, that'll snap. Um, start fading from existence. <laughs> Uh, people um, are screaming. Some of the people that you are witnessing are just disappearing. Other ones are kind of look like they are fading, but as their skin fades, it turns to a purple luminescent color. And it looks like they turn into some other creatures. Now, you are surrounded in this market. What'd you say? So these sound like Doctor Who. Yeah. Doctor Who. Um, Hell yeah, Doctor Who. So as this is happening, this beautiful city that you are up, you are a part of, just fell down into a dusk-like look. People are disappearing, and some of them are turning into creatures. Roll for initiative. Okay. Oh, that's intelligence. Wait. <laughs> Where's my... My initiative. There it is. Oh, God damn it. It is idiot. not letting me roll. Oh! I thought it was me. There's no text on the 20. Oh. Someone else rolled the 20. Got really excited oh. for my 20. Thank I... you. Oh. It's funny. Oh, my game is uh, freezing up for a little bit here. I don't know it why. It is not letting me roll. Are you dragging your um, initiative onto the chat? Oh no, I did roll a 20! Why is that accident? 
Uh, wait. Oh, yeah, you rolled a 20. Yeah. Rokax, Pankog, and Lushu all rolling that 20s. What? Yo, guys, who, who we are it? aware. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What? Yeah. Is who the it? heck hacked? Not it's bad for touching zero, guys. Um, <laughs> all right, Crimson, are, are you Great grabbing start. your initiative and dragging it into chat? Oh, you know what? You. Now I see Echo. All right, uh, Corin. Yeah, you should be able to drag your initiative. I might be able to do it for you. Okay, so, Corin, what you want to do is on your character sheet, click on your character. In the top left corner, get it up on the main, at the first top tab. Um, in the middle bit, you've got AC, init, and speed. The init, that's where you want to drag and roll. That's your initiative. Oh. Oh, no. I did something. Gotta make sure you drag it into the chat box. Oh. What you just said is my life. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did something wrong. Uh... Oh, I just something. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was a very. <laughs> there you go. Oh. It's not showing up. Yeah, Are you dragging it into the chat box? There it goes. Yeah. There it goes. Oh, no, you rolled. There, there it is. is. Okay. No, you rolled. No, no, that, that's no, history. No. You need to roll initiative. Okay, it's on your, your main skill. screen. Tab. Right, right hand side, yeah. And skills a bit. Okay. No, no, no. The main tab. And then. And you should have like where your name is, your class level, background. Um, I see my name. Gail. Okay then. So you see in the middle of that um, screen, you've got things that says AC, init, and speed. Okay. Init is your initiative. You rolled intelligence. No, that's intelligence. No, in, in the middle. Yeah. Closer. <laughs> you're, on the, you're on the right page. No, that's right. I you're am, on the right page. I am at your AC. In, in the middle of the page, okay. not in the middle of abilities or saves. Yeah. Alright. No, I that's the other side. <laughs> it says end. Center, center. I got it. I got it's it. Center got of it. the beat. I got it. Don't worry. Uh, oh, okay. I got it. There you go. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. There we go. Oh, <laughs> you, you gotta remember, everyone else did this last week and learned this, so it's okay. It's okay. But hey, you know what? We had this epic battle music going on for that whole situation. So. All right, let's see. It got me confused because there's two in. So, so three nat twenties. What's going on with that? Yeah, how the fuck? I I declare uh, hacks. Apparently, we said it off. Unfortunately, it doesn't really do much for us in initiative. I would much yeah. rather have that twenty later on. Right. But we wasted that twenty. A little true. Yeah, but solid start. Solid start. Okay. Good. Start as you intend to finish, boys. Yeah. Loaded <laughs> echo last. Mm. All right, Lucio, it's your turn, my dude. Oh. Ooh. There are okay, then. Um, most, I guess, uh, most the uh, the people that are in the city have vanished through the disintegration of themselves, but many of them have definitely uh, turned into these strange beasts. And once one of you guys see Where, one of them, do we I see any beasts? Them. Uh, you gotta okay. Look, yeah. Do I do I around. see any beasts in my in my line of sight? Do I see uh, any beasts? Nope. That line I'm of sight is not, what you see. Everyone. So um, okay. you can move. Um, so I can move around. Right Seeing as yep. it's not a, like, is this? I I'm not limited to thirty feet in this. Am I or am I? Is this a battle phase? 
Yes, this is battle phase. So, oh, okay, so, I'm so each, each feet. thing is five feet. <laughs> okay, no worries. I can see what's in front of me. So I'm gonna go. But can I go diagonally? And that's still yeah, count as five because they're hexagons. It, yeah, they're hex. Every every movement is five feet. Now. Okay. Per, per feet. And if you okay. try to run five, through the tents or whatever, you have to let me 10, know because it might count as more. 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so I'm gonna okay, stay I can't here. Do anything literally with your pet Um, that'll be my first thing to do. Um, and okay. then. Good trial, um, oh, I, I can't see him there, so I can't really call out. Um, I guess I just have to end my turn there. There's not really much I can do. There's not much around. I'm not really close enough to anyone. You and can wire. Uh, so if you're not going to take an action, you can double your speed. You can move double your speed this turn. If you're not going to take yep. an action. Oh, wait, hang on. No, no, but I do see something now. I didn't see it before. I see it in the... Um, there's something in the. I don't that know what to call it. Market area. Yeah, the little market area. Yeah, there's a chaos spawn in there. Um, how far away does my crossbow hit? Bear with me. Um, short bow. This. Uh oh. Where does it say the range of my short bow? I just got I disconnected. All right. Good? Uh, I can't have my uh my viewer mode anymore for some reason. Uh, that's really annoying. Uh, hopefully they didn't just push an update hmm. saying you only can have one person with your license key, which I'm still me using my account. I should be able to use um, my account. I, dude, I don't know. Something is misbehaving. And I don't like it. Okay, well, um, and my are camera we ready? just turned off. God fucking damn it. Oh. <laughs> Why? Oh, oh. At least it didn't go all weird purple-blue like it normally does. Yeah. Silver lining, all that. Oh my god. Why? All the problems. If it makes you feel any better, I'm having a great time right now eating a big nub of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's hard to have a bad time when you're eating cheese. 100%. Cheese uh -huh. is just incredible. Oh, I found out, by the way, um, the short bow can only be used between 80 feet and 320 feet. Yeah, Yo, you're within um, range of that, dude. They, they, they have, they, they... No, 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 um, I'm not. He's too close to me to use my oh. short bow. He needs to be at least 80 feet away for me to be able to use it on him. Um, so, although I can see him, um, I can't attack him. But what I did do, do uh, I use my action to shout really goddamn loud. Because I see Pankog to the left of me, um, and Echo to uh, my south. Um, can I warn them? Um, I don't think I've seen um, Rokex yet. So, in that case, um, I shout towards Echo and um, Pankog, telling them that there's one of those creatures um, in the marketplace. Okay. So I just come back and go, hey, Guys! If you want... I see someone! Hold on. If, if you want, I will let you roll to shoot at that dude if you want. Outside of its minimum range, but your attack would be at disadvantage if you want. Okay. So, hang on. Let me, sorry, let me just disadvantage on short bow and drag onto him, right? Yeah. No, no. I roll to see if I hit, and then I roll the damage onto him, don't I? Uh, you grab the roll onto so him. That, that's that's the roll to hit. You missed. Whoa! You rolled a one. Critical. <laughs> wow. Oh no. Okay. You uh. <laughs> so in your 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 panic of what the hell happened, you drop your your bow at your feet. 
Oh, great. <laughs> I don't know what the hell just happened there. Yeah. <laughs> just Ser- Cereal, you're, you're off cold. on your fantastic <laughs> rolls again, my dude. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, I had that 20 and it's you're, gone. You're rolling uh, <laughs> like I do. Constant ones. All right. Um, if that's your turn, go ahead and pass turn. If you want, you can still uh, shout. Okay. You can still shout because that's, you know, you're just yelling. Yeah, I, will, I am shouting, telling them that, um, that there is something up there. Okay. Um, how do I pass turn? Uh, if you open your combat tracker uh, and you push uh, next turn, I think that's what you need to do. And Brokeax says Wait, combat it. tracker? Uh, do you see... Oh, the... top there in the yeah. corner. I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll need that. I was like, wait, what? Uh, turn complete. There we go. There you go. Brokeax, you up, my dude? Wait, I thought I had the second initiative. Uh, nope. Me too. Oh, Rokax is muted. Why is Rokax muted? Yep, cool. It, Discord decides to randomly mute people. Still can't hear you, though. Yeah, Rokax will Yeah, Rokax. same. Okay, it's not just me. Yeah, I can't hear him. Nope. Oh, when he joins, it's gonna mess no! up. The thing. Oh, yeah. No! No! Oh, I hate my life! I hate my life so much! What have you done? No, wait, he's alright! No, 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 he's wait. fine! Oh, he's in the right place! Oh, Perfect. please stay! Please stay! Please! Oh, please, for the love of God, don't move, because last time someone rejoined, it was fine for a few minutes, and then it switched him. Mm. All right, looks like he's still joining. Oh man, I was gonna have a part. Like, I'm glad I broke up as much stuff as I could per player, so I could just like, all right, cool, switch these things. But if I have to redo the webcams, that's where it's just stupid. Uh, he had no, a higher point. initiative. Wait a minute, yeah. Oh, he maybe because he rolled a natural twenty. Yeah, how did he get in front of you? Hold on a minute, let me fix that. Twenty-two. There. There, you go. I, I fixed it. Go for it. Okay. I can't see any enemies in one of that. Oh, you won't do yet because you can't see them, so you have to move. Okay. When well, it's your turn, then. You guys hear me now? Hey, yes. look yeah. at that. There we go. My video's still not working, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know what's whatever. up with your video. So... Right. Well, Without on. leaving, turn off camera, turn it back on. Yeah, try that. Don't leave, just turn off the camera and turn it back on. That usually works. <laughs> or you have to restart your logic. There it goes. Yes! You um, got it! Hell yeah, dude. For some reason, it calculated your initiative wrong. It's Pancake's turn. You're next. Yeah, I, I, I knew that. But um, real quick, I just I was trying to um, correct. So your short bow, you have a, that 80 is your uh, normal range. Uh, you can use it up to 80 feet um, normally, and then it can go up to 320 at disadvantage. That's the long range. Oh! Shot. Then roll um, it. No- hey, roll then, it. Let you roll it normal if you want. And okay. then you get uh, you get disadvantage if you're in melee range. Melee range, range. right? Oh, okay. So, I'm not. I'm not in five feet. Yeah, just go ahead and roll normal. Right. So roll sure. uh, 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 you have to roll it on the it's dude. The first enemy? You have to you have to roll oh, it on his okay. face. Uh, I keep seeing red, thinking that's disadvantage. That's your dice color, huh? Nineteen. That's cool. So you hit. So go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Uh, damage onto him. Oh. 
That's not bad, five. And he did. Oh, easy, one tap. But, so I draw my, my short bow, I just look at him, aim right between his eyes and just hand zo the shit out of it. <laughs> just, just let that arrow go and just like, straight towards him. Okay, um, since you actually got a look at him, he is a little far, so you don't get quite as many details, but you notice that um, the skin looks armor-like. It looks like he's got like uh, pauldrons on his shoulders that come okay. to like spiked tips. Their faces are smooth. They have no eyes or ears, but they have a visible mouth that is full of many rolls of sharp teeth. And you are noticing that he wasn't, or the, the creature wasn't moving uh, like it, it had a mind. It, it was just kind of flailing around, moving a bit, oh, yeah. walking straight into a box. You know, okay. uh, wasn't quite aware of what was happening at the moment. But uh, you take him out. So good job. <laughs> Pancake, your turn. Pancog. Okay, so I went ahead and I moved. And I still don't see any enemies. Um, for every movement you make, um, your oops, I moved someone. That's me. <laughs> My bad. I got me back. I wish you would just fucking deselect people. I don't know the deselect button. Like I can't unselect you. It's very obnoxious. Deselect. Can you not just deselect by selecting someone else? Um, yeah, but then I'll control them. Oh. Fuck! Why? Yeah, Why is isn't deselect an option? Whatever. Alright, so you're moving. Um, wait, you didn't see that one that was right next to you? I only see us as characters. Yeah, I don't see anything, yeah. Hmm. The sensitive visibility is not working okay, right. Now I, I see things. Okay, no, now I see something. Oops. They're blue, right? I can't deselect. I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, yeah, the, the chaos spawn of the bad guys. They just know. <clears throat> yeah, and so with my longbow. So apparently you can click other people and see I their like line of sight as well. Yeah, you can see your friendly line of sight. Oh, I like that. Oh, I see stuff now. Hmm. There's a lot more around me than I thought there was. Why can't I deselect things? <laughs> this is so dumb. Fantasy grounds. What the fuck, man? How to deselect selection? Fantasy grounds. I don't know how to undo it. Did you try? Turning off your computer and turning it back on. Yeah, that's exactly what you want me to do right now. <laughs> like, I can. Oh, this is so dumb. Hey, let that's me what tech support it. always tells me. So I know. <sighs> Fine. And also, these visibility things are not working. So. I don't know why, but they're not. Yeah. Also, I don't know how you moved. There you go. I guess I'll I'll just look at all your guys' um as you move to see if you guys can okay. see things. So does a twenty one hit it? Uh, you have to roll it on his face. I, I would hope it's 21. You, you probably do. 
Uh, so just go ahead and roll your attack. Pull it on his face. Ugh, why can't I fucking deselect? It's so stupid. Uh, drag your attack onto the guy you're shooting's face. No, 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 drag your damage because your attack hit him. You just didn't drag it onto his head. Drag the damage. Okay. You got him. Which one Which one did you shoot at? Uh, uh, ten. I shot at the one that's directly I see it. Like, in front of me. Yeah, he did. Alright. Delete. The person. Alright. All right, go ahead and uh, go ahead and pass your turn. Okay, how do... At the bottom of the okay. combat tracker, th there's uh, that little arrow. Okay. All right, now it's okay. Rokax's turn. Okay, so, um, did I have an opportunity to, <laughs> I guess I, I guess it's not that big a deal. Um, is there, is there something in between me and this spawn right in front of me? Um, Looks like he's behind something, yeah, right? Yeah, so he was a merchant behind his, you know, his flower okay. things. Um, what, uh, um... What would it take for me to get over that to hit him? Oh, to get over the flower box? Yeah. Um, you can, uh, if you want, if you run to the right between the pole and that sack, if you want to run it, roll a dexterity to squeeze through, or, uh, what is it? Acrobatics? Is that the dexterity check? Yeah. If you want to roll that to squeeze about through it, you can. What about using athletics to go over it? To jump over it? Sure. Or jump over it on top of it. I don't care. Crush the damn thing to get to him. For athletics? Sure. Okay. Uh... Excuse me. I gotta find the right tab here. So another thing real quick. I didn't, um, I don't want to take an action to don my shield. Um, You're so just gonna I'm go going to be using my war ham Well, I'm going to be using my war hammer, uh, um, two handed, which I have a, it has a two handed damage, which is one D 10. Okay. Um, rather than one D eight. So should I just roll that separately and then you can do the damage, but cause it doesn't actually show up in my my actions as uh it shows up as 1d8 really yeah because if i use it one-handed it's 1d8 if i if i use it two-handed it's 1d10 i think there's a way to enable how you want to attack and you're attacking with your warhammer yeah uh, it only gives me the one option yeah you're right um Oh wait a minute. Uh, just... one, 1d8 is one-handed. 1d10 is two-handed. Right. Um, and I don't have my shield, so I'm going right. to be using two hands with my Or I could, no, I don't know. Never mind. I guess I could uh draw that and my dagger and then I would get two attacks with it, right? I would I would get to hit him, swing at him uh, twice. I don't think you have um the dual weapon or what's it called it's not a versatile wolf or what are daggers called no i got i have finesse. two weapon fighting oh you do uh, finesse is yeah okay i have two weapon fighting sure yeah you with, can use it um okay so there's I'll gotta just, be a way to that. so i got over that thing with the 23 right oh yeah yeah wow great okay. roll i am okay i'll roll attack with my warhammer. 
Do I hit? Uh, you gotta drag it on his face, remember. Oh, right, 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 right. But yes, you hit, so just drag damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> remember, always drag on their faces. That sucks. But you killed him. Oh. Instant death. Oh, okay. So then I'm gonna finish. I, does it, was that 10 feet then because I climbed? Yeah. Okay. And. 15. Come on. 20. 25. 30. Can you guys hear the Can I be and there? stuff fine? Yep. Or is it too quiet? Yeah. I can hear it fine. Alright. Alright. So, what's this past turn dealio that we're talking about? If you have How your do combat that? tracker op open. And, uh... Oh, I don't. Yeah. But, oh, you know what? Maybe that's how you use your secondary attacks. Because there's, uh, targets and stuff in there. And do I click the little... Oh, turn complete? Yep. Okay. Nice. Okay. I gotta put this back. Okay. Um, oh man, you got so many spawns on here. Hey, you're oh, not supposed hell, to I just look. Them all, dude. Stop looking. Wait, wait, you, you told me to open combat tracker. Oh, it shows yeah, on there. It's all there. Oh, you're, you're fine then. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought you were looking at where they are on the map. <laughs> it doesn't show us where. It just shows us how many you've got. And That's there's, fine. Yeah. Yeah. I thought. Um, <laughs> so it's the first one that. <laughs> no. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. All right. Ooh, nice sounds coming in. The blah, blah, sounds. Um, how do I choose this next character? Uh, wait, that's the one you killed. Why didn't it delete it from the combat tracker? That's annoying. Um, you know what? I thought I told. Hold on, there's a setting I need to turn on. Combat, where is it? Hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna move. Now it won't let me. Oh, now it won't let me move them. Oh, man. This, when I want to click to drag things, it doesn't let me. But when I want to unselect things, it doesn't let me. It's fantastic. All right. There should be a way that I can just say next person. Oops. All right. Corrin, it's your turn. Oh, I'm trying to guess where I am. I guess I'm right here. Yep. You're the oh. little blue bee. I cannot move. <laughs> uh, uh. You can't move? Mm-mm. Uh, if you use oh, arrow... No, there you go. Yeah, if you use okay. arrow keys, it'll move for you. Or okay. it'll slowly move them. Um. So are the red people near me? Like the red and blue food that... Uh, yeah, the red guys are the bad guys. Um, so make sure okay. every space you move is five feet, and you can move 30 feet. Okay. Uh, I might attack the guy in front of me. Uh, uh, I'm probably going to use a thorn. Thorn whip? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I just use the dice down here to roll, I guess. Yeah, you drag your thorn whip dice uh, from your spell and drag it onto his head. 
Do I use the ones at the bottom of the map, or do I? Um, do you have the combat tracker open? Yeah, you might want to open your combat tracker. Or, um... <clears throat> maybe not even your combat tracker. Um, your s character sheet. Yeah. And then, uh, if you drag your spell... I'm guessing it'll be under abilities? It'll be under your actions. Actions, okay. Um, and it looks like you have to be in melee range to use Thorn Whip. Which doesn't sound right to me. I thought that was a ranged spell. Um, I wrote it down. Um. Thorn Whip. It says the range is 30 feet. Yeah, okay. Um, well, I just rolled for you on accident. <laughs> Uh oh. Um. So you hit whoever you were gonna hit. Um. Apparently, you can just okay. click the button too for attack, but you have to have t if you target the person, you can just click. Um. But go ahead and drag your um your damage onto the guy that you're hitting for uh, your thorn whip. Drag the damage. Um is on the map yeah the back the guy that you're uh looking at on the map <laughs> sorry i'm trying to figure this out do i have to be in my character yes um, sheet so open your character okay. sheet go to your actions and then if you go to your, right. your spells in your cantrip, the thing that says damage for your thorn whip, just drag that onto his face. Um, that is weird. <laughs> this thing is not save the damage. <clears throat> No, I see it. I'm looking right at it. So you're on, you're on your actions, right? Your actions tab? Mm -hmm. And you see Thorn Whip? Yeah. Um, what yeah. mode are you in at the bottom of the screen? Are you in standard mode or what? Uh, I'm under that. Action tab. Stay. Okay. Oh, so you can change that too. So you see the, the damage? It says DMG. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, drag that onto his face. Uh, not the chat, his face. The bad guy. I'm trying to figure out a way to open the map. The map over here. Right. So the map wants to tend to... Oh my god. <laughs> Everything tends to want to be on one screen, and it is very hard. It's all good. Alright. I think I got it. Alright. Chaos Spawn 3. Dead. Alright, now I gotta go find Chaos Spawn 3, because it doesn't just kill him. Sweet, he dead. All right. Sorry, everything I'm trying to put on one two screens. It's all good. All right, Echo, it's your turn. Oh shit! I didn't realize you had so many dudes around you. It seems like a. Uh... This guy was supposed to be up here. Uh, everyone has left me. Uh, it seems like everyone seems to uh, 
be too scared to, uh, you know, it seems like everyone seems that to know that I can handle this on myself, you know, I've got, <laughs> so, um, um, I think the wisest thing to do would be an acid splash spell. Let's see. Acid splash. Yeah, so what you'll want to do is you'll want to drag on, um... Oh. Your spellbook is different than Corin's. What the heck? <laughs> That's annoying. Um... Oh, you just can't... Okay, so on your acid spell, you... If you highlight over the one that kind of looks like a box, that says, uh, that's, yeah. that's how you cast. If you drag that onto his face, that will be what he needs to save on. Okay. Um, Acid Splash, I think, is an AoE, too. I think it's like a... So just to put, just they gotta be within five feet of each other. Uh, say that again? Oh, wait, just to confirm, it's the lightning one I dragged on his face. No, that's damage. A... So you need to see if you hit him first. Do the one before that that yeah. looks like a box. Drag that onto his face. Um, okay. That one is a uh, like a little cone in front of him, and if someone is within five feet of each other, you can hit two. Or you can use your Eldritch Blast, which does is similar to the same thing, but it's just a longer range. So, uh, which one are you using? Actually, yeah, the Eldritch Blast. I forgot that was in my inventory. Yeah, I use that one. Okay. Yeah, I'll go with that one. So I'm gonna roll that. Um, was that the right one? Uh, you need to grab the little no. box and drag it onto his face. I'm out, of, I'm out of drink. I don't think it even touched. So you need a you need to roll your cast. So the little square, drag that onto the the enemy you're trying to hit. There we go. Oh, uh, gotcha. there you go. Sweet. So you hit. Um, well, hey. wait a minute. How did that work? So it says you did your attack with your Eldritch, Eldritch Blast, which was 13. And then you hit. Did you roll twice? Or is that how it worked? I... Let's see. I'm, I, gonna, I'm gonna try something. I, I, I think I, I dropped it. And I was like, did it oh, hit okay. it? okay. Um, no, no, no. So, I can... So, what you do... I just did it. Um, you drag the square onto him. Which I just did. And then my guy tries to mm -hmm. save. And he failed. So now you do the damage, which is the lightning bolt. Dra drag that onto his face. Like. There you go. Now he did. Oops. Tailspawn 16. Sweet. He's dead. Nice. Then next. I have to do these individually. That's annoying. Are these well, it's your fault? You put like thirty of the fuckers there. I know, but it should. If they die, <laughs> they should just get removed from the combat tracker. Or if I delete no, that them, that is it true? That is it true? Or if I delete them from the map, it should delete them from the combat tracker. But if I delete them from the map, they stay in the combat tracker. Dumb. Cookie time. Um, 
But yeah, so, okay. How come, oh, it, that's because there. It starts round two, it pauses there. Okay, Lucius turn, oh, dummy cookie time. Here you go. <laughs> My dad. Yeah. All right then. Now, um, um, one of you guys were asking about okay, who the combat tracker or something or um the spawn. No, it's just. Uh, oh, you're breaking up, but. Did I just lose you guys? Cool, I just lost you guys. Okay. Yes, he is. Okay, we're good. We're good. I just got booted again. Dude, yeah, we, my we, internet we, we is saw. having issues. Yeah, this is great. Oh, no, his camera thing. Please be okay, camera. I'm gonna cry. Your camera's purple. My, my camera's purple? Cool. Love when yeah. it does that. It says that it's loading up in Discord as well, though. Maybe uh, stop oh, sharing yeah. video in Discord. Oh, screw that. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I think my internet is uh, definitely been freaking out because I was trying to download stuff yesterday and it was having all sorts of problems. It's also, back on stream. Something, right? No. Don't make me do it again, please. Oh, oh. For the love of God. Don't make me redo it. Does that look... Oh, it should God. Be right. Oh, my we're God. Good, oh, Dude, twice. We're, like, we're so well lucky. With our RNG this evening. <laughs> I know. Jeez. Okay, right. so it's my turn, right? Yeah, go for it. Jeez. Okay, then. Um, so, the, the first thing I do, before I even, before I even start um, moving... Um, which, by the way, I will be going after um, Chaos Spawn number two uh, in a second. Um, but I shout uh, all around me to everyone um, not to get too close because um, of the razor sharp teeth and the armored scales. It's probably best to fight them from a little bit of a distance unless you're running like a two handed giant hammer like Rokexes because <laughs> he just jumps out of the image. Just crush him. But, um, yeah, just crush him if you can, but um, not just be careful because there are they're a bit more dangerous than what you may think because I saw them with the teeth. They probably didn't. So I make everyone aware of that. Well, um, Rokex definitely I, saw it. He got up right in personal. Yeah, Rokex definitely 100% saw that. But um, like Pancog and Echo, for example, they, um, they didn't see. Um, where is... Well, I, I guess, I guess Corin can hear me as well from that far away, right? Oh yeah, we'll, we'll say yeah, okay, shout well, loud enough people can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Echo then. had one like um, within ten feet of her though, so she probably actually sees them more. Okay, right. I kind of want to dagger this dude. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. God damn it! I was a little bit too far away. Meh. Oh, 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 what happened there? Teleportation, love that. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I use um, both of my daggers. Um, so, the first dagger, run onto him. Oh, dude. what is happening? Dude, oh, you, oh, also, no. you, if you didn't... <laughs> <laughs> Your critical misses, my dude. Okay. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, you go, you sw you swing to attack him, and uh, you miss completely, and uh, you, you just fall prone. Wait, 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 I don't get my other dagger though, because it's dual boarding. Uh, it uses the same attack. Yeah, I think it uses the same attack. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, uh, I did great. <laughs> yeah. uh, yay! <laughs> Yes, good. Good. <laughs> I can barely hear Pancake. Yeah, you keep getting quieter, Pancake. Yeah, really quiet. Who are you? Hey, Lucio, did you use your uh, entire movement? Yeah. Um, I did, yeah, the full 30. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah I can't even disengage or anything, yeah. 
to stand up, it's half of your uh, half of your speed. So mm -hmm. it takes 15 feet of speed to stand up. Oof. But you'll be able to do that on your turn and still be able to attack. Um. All right, if that's your turn, okay, right. so that's go my ahead turn over. Let me go ahead, pass turn. There we go. Pancog. Okay. Can you guys hear me better now? Yep. A little bit. A tiny bit. Okay. Um, I am... I'm going to go ahead and attack this... And you missed. Uh, two no. miss wow. Well, oh two misses in a row. You rolled one more higher than Serial. At least yours wasn't a critical miss. <laughs> well, shut the fuck up. Yo, as long as there wasn't that one, I'm fine. <laughs> Alright, uh, go ahead and pass your turn if you're done. Or if you guys want, you guys can just tell me when you're done and I can always pass the turns. I'm done. Okay. Bop. Procax. All right, here we go. Um, oh, wait, you said I can use arrows. I'm going to go there. And there. Oh. You can't go diagonal, though. Yeah, you can. So, not with the arrow keys. Well, that's technically there diagonal. Well, I, I just, that was, anyway. Um... Cool. So that was 10 feet. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and swing at that dude with okay. my war hammer. Swing away. Dude! Oh. oh. Dude, these rows. Yeah, you guys used. <laughs> you got bad. all your 20s in a row. Now you're getting all your 1s in a row. I told you guys that was going to happen. All right. <laughs> um, I, I want to think of. There's a table we can roll on for critical misses and stuff, but some of them are really fucked up. And I don't know if I want to use them, so... Uh, you, you drop your Warhammer. Um, well, I'm gonna pick it back up, then. And then you. my... Uh, yeah. yeah I'm gonna pick it back up. That'll That's use the rest my of your uh, object interaction. And yep. then... I'm not going to move anywhere else, so my turn's over. Okay. Um, after your turn, you guys hear, uh, coming from the east, not too far away, a thunderous, gigantic roar. Your, the ground literally shakes. You can actually see pebbles and rocks on the ground actually visibly jumping and vibrating. There is something big and scary coming from the, the east of you. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was uh -oh. roll packs. We got, hold on, we got some cookies. Hey, take a full cookies. I forgot to <laughs> turn that down. Um, let's see. Um, so then hopefully we roll better than we, we are. Right. So, 5, 10, 15, 20. He didn't make it. 5... Whoa, 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 why are you moving so much? Whoa. Yeah, he's like not, he's not snapping properly anymore. Okay. He is going to roll to attack. Oh, yeah. Uh, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? How come my roll doesn't work? Oh, because I'm rolling the wrong die. Why did I roll advantage? But it still missed you anyway. <laughs> Echo dodges out the way. From an incoming attack. Lucky. Yeah, no, no joke. 
Um, yeah. All right, moving through. Um, that guy that's in front of Rokax is actually gonna swing to attack him. My phone is freaking out. Um, swinging on Rokax, blam. And he hits. Oh. And uh, he's uh, just beating you with uh, his double-handed, just blam, trying to smash on you. And uh, does two damage to you. Two big Ouch. fisticuffs of, he could have used his claws, but he's kind of an idiot. So just blam, smacks you. He smacks you as you're like going to pick up your hammer. Okay. Um, there. Next. Uh, number two. Oh, is this? A hey, Panikov, what are you doing moving yourself? I saw that. Sorry, that was <laughs> trying to scroll across the screen. Yep, I've done that. Part of the app. It's all good. All right. This guy is going to try to slam Lushu. No! I don't know why it's Let's... rolling it. Oh, that's right. You're prone. Um, so now he's going to smack at you with some damage. What? Instant. It's oh, self. wait. What? I, rolled it. I, I rolled it on his self. <laughs> In the confusion, it bashes itself in the right. head. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Fucking. God How damn much it. damage to me? Uh, you, I just, it already did it. You, you took three. Now I need to fucking put his life Rigged. back. <laughs> How do I put his life back? Um. Oh, here we go. There you go. Done. Next. I don't like these weird spooky noises. I the the zombie noises. Zombie. It's cool, man. <laughs> Creepy. I like it. All right. Jeez. All right, Corin, it's your turn. Um, you might have to move my character because she's all. She's what? Up. Like I can't move my character. Like I can only move the map. Uh, so you might have to move can you, my character. Can you click on her? Mm -mm. Really? Why can't you click no. on her? Spur. I don't know. Um, it's weird. That is weird. You should be able to. You're part of the map. Like, it's. She's above. Oh, no, you're moving. No, that was me. Just you moved click her? and drag. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, just move her yeah, down move a bit. Right, I... hang on. Do you, want, do you want to go towards number seven or towards number nine? Uh, I don't know. All I'm being able to see is right below the fountain. Like, I see one. Can you zoom I out your map? Use the circle doodad in the bottom right hand corner. Or just push your middle mouse button, hold that down and drag around the map. You can move it that way. Okay, okay. Hey, thanks, because I don't know how to <laughs> move my character. Or get oh, there. Working. Who's moving her? Oh, God. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's that was me. a distance. Sorry. Um. So you're moving your character, but... Something can can you use your arrow keys? Your arrow keys work. Uh, no. Some weird reason. Maybe it doesn't work very well though. Um trying to think. <clears throat> Is you said the red and blue people are um enemies, right? Yep. Okay, so is the one nearest the um i guess shop is are they in front of it or are they yeah, behind you, it you can you can get to him okay uh, oh 
Oh, that one? I thought you meant to the one to the right. Yeah. Uh, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You wouldn't be able to get to within melee range of him. But you can move two more squares. Or whatever. So you'd be able so to get... right yeah. about here, yeah, maybe? Yeah, yeah, you could get there. Okay. Um... I'm trying to think. Um... I might use, uh, here, I might use Thunder Wave, which... That, that will use your spell slot. You only can do one of those, or you only have two spell slots. So oh, you okay. Um, but if you use a cantrip, you can use as many times as you want. So you could Thorn Whip him. Okay, that's what I was thinking of doing. Uh, so I'll just use Thorn Whip. Cool. Uh, drag right. the little... I think that's supposed to be a die, but it looks like a, a box. Oh. Well, my, my dice does not today. So you're not rolling a dice from the thing. You're dragging the thing from your character sheet onto his face. Okay, four. Uh, that was damage. <clears throat> you need you need to see if you hit him first. Oh, uh, okay. So. So the cast one you want to do. Drag that onto his face. It's weird. There should be dice at the bottom of the map, and there's not. Uh, okay, I'll. I gotta. I'll just use that. I got a seventeen. Okay. Yeah. So you kill him. Uh, which one okay. was that? Uh, chaos spawn nine. Sweet. D let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So that's your turn. Yeah. Cool. Next is Echo. Um, as you guys hear? Muted. There, okay. there, there is. So. There is pounding on the ground. The the water in the fountains is starting to ripple. Whatever is off on mm. coming from the east is coming. Um. Right. I have a direct problem, um, uh, obviously right in front of me. Yes, you do. <laughs> um, uh, I need to get rid of that first, so, um, I'm just gonna go straight, straight to the mace. You know, just go straight. Just, mace yeah. to the face? Mace to the face. Go for it. So, uh, drag <laughs> the attack onto his face. Let's see if you hit. Excuse me. That was a dagger. <laughs> was that a sound oh effect God. for that massive thing coming at us? That was oh, yeah. There's a massive difference between a dagger and a... Oh! Uh, you're rolling damage. You, you, you needed to roll the attack on his face. Well, you rolled 16. Yeah, I know, also, you I hit realize. it. But, uh... Oh, that is painful. Well, you're, you need to be rolling him on his face. Which one? Do you, the what number is he? Number eleven. Uh, you still kill him. You would with a mace, wouldn't you? Really? They really only have one health. Yep. Oh wow. Okay. And it's a mace to the face. Well, they are starter characters, like you know, starter mobs. Um. Okay. So that's Echo. That's your turn. Um. I want to. Rokax had a, right. a great idea right here. I want to see if I can get some uh, super cool sounds going on. Um, did I pass turn properly? Round three. That means it's on my turn and I'm on the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah, so do I have floor. to use... 
<laughs> do, I, do I have to use um because I remember um it's half your movement. before I, I yeah up. I have to use 15 feet to stand up right yep okay mm -hmm. so in that case uh, the first bit will be I will use that 15 feet to stand up <clears throat> um all right you're not pro uh, anymore. I've got a very very angry yet embarrassed look on my face as I pick <laughs> up my dagger um, <laughs> Kind of looking around me towards um, Echo, Pangog, and Corin to see if anyone noticed. Uh, and <laughs> I did it. God damn it! <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. That's that, um, that's what you guys hear in the background. Oh. I kind of I kind of look around, a little bit bewildered. Like, um, uh, okay, but I realize. There is something in front of me, so I do have to roll daggers um, again. I'm going to roll daggers to attack the chaos spawn number two. Seventeen. Why did you roll? Why did you uh, roll advantage? I think I don't know. Um, I haven't got advantage selected, but it might be because I'm dual wielding. It might be two dice, and it picks the highest one. I wonder if it's because I he was doubt. facing the other way. I. Oh no, that's not your. Did I hit? Down. <laughs> yeah, you, you hit him. Okay then, so then do I do one dagger then the other dagger? Uh, yeah. Well, it doesn't you really do matter, does it? As long as I hit him for one, he dies, so... Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, remember, Obliteration! Remember your ability, you have a sneak attack. Right? You might want to be aware I of do, your, but, your uh, ability. Because I think you do more damage and stuff as well. Sneak attack, you have to have somebody next to them. You have to have a player a, within a friend, five right. feet. I'm just saying, be aware yeah. of that for like future stuff. Um, but yeah, you. Wait, which one did you attack? Yeah, but you see, I, I, yeah, but I could see Echo, and I saw the fact that she, um, you know, kind of whiffed it with the mace, yet still managed to yeah. kill him. So I know these guys aren't that much of a threat. You see, so the, the sneak attack is just showing off at this point. Um, I just want to just nick him, you know, just get right. rid of him. That's the thing. Is that your turn? That's my turn. Yeah, let me go ahead and end. Uh, there you go. And then I'm going to attack my bow. Hey, baby. Oh my god. Oof. This is again, doesn't it? Another one. Oh, another one? Jeez. Oh my god. You guys are Lord. doing all your. <laughs> <laughs> All your automatic misses hey, out of the way. We're, we're like new adventurers, guy. okay? Once we've gotten used to each other, we'll start, you know. Yeah. Well, you left oh. me behind. This is what happened. That's where you were. You were by yourself in the first place. Don't don't blame us for being off by yourself. <laughs> okay. uh, that's where basically put us. I'm sorry. You you fumble uh, your arrows and you just completely miss that shot, pancake or pancog. Um, is, oh, is that your turn? Well, I guess that's all you, I mean, you could move a little bit, I guess, but. Rokax, you up? All right, another swing at this guy, see if I can have better luck this time. Don't curse it. I am, and nice. I'm going to kill him, so he's dead. <laughs> yep, uh, 23. Cool. You guys are waiting through these I'll, uh, I'll put I'll put damage on him. Uh, it's okay, I just, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, that's your turn. Yeah, I'm going to move. Okay. Five. And there's 15. Those uh, growls are getting lo louder. Cool. 
25 30 Alright Turn over Alright um, And then it's Oh chaos spawn Alright uh, This guy is gonna 10, 15, 20 Couldn't make it Hey didn't the guy just disappear in front of me uh, I could have swore I was just going right at a guy. You were. Did I accidentally turn it off? Oh, there you go. I see him now. Okay. Um, making my way downtown. Moving bad guys. There you go. Oh yeah, there's a uh, big bad boy still coming. <laughs> All right, Corin's turn. Um, I'm not sh sure if I can get to any of the bad guys. Um, do I have any way to catch up with them? Um, there was a guy over to your right before you moved. And uh, you remember, you have a 60 foot uh, reach on your thorn whip. And each of those squares is five, or five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, you can hit um, that guy from there if you want. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm gonna save my first level spells for what I big, big up. And I'm probably just going to do Thorn. Um. Let me see. Oof. I missed. Uh, you, you gotta drag it on his face, remember? Oh. Your attack. The. Oh, the attack. It. It's not, um, the dice aren't showing up on... No, no, you don't use those dice. Mm -hmm. You you go to your actions uh, tab, and you use the cast ability, and you drag that onto his face. Okay. Oh, why this... Is does not work. Oh. Oh no, it just keeps disappearing. So you, you click and hold, you know that, right? Oh, just click and hold it. Yeah, click and hold the cast and then drag it. N not in the chat. Uh, there you go, there you go, got it. Whoa, whoa, a bunch of things just got rolled. I don't know what it just did. It was messing up. <laughs> well, you got him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's what you need it. to do. Okay. All right. So that's your turn. Yeah. I think uh, you have a little bit of movement left if you want. I think you can even move two more squares if you want. Um. But that big, oh. scary, roary thing is still coming. Coming from your right. How are the um, like shall we we'll call them apparitions? Um, how are they reacting to the sound? Are they reacting to it like it's a natural sound? Are they reacting to it nervously? Do they know what it is? Uh, these things like, are mindless. Their to it? They're they're mindless. Okay. They are unaware. Uh, they are. Um, let's see. Let's see how I can explain this. The only way that it seems that they're reacting to any of you is by sound and movement. So that's why... So using that, are, are they blind? Yeah, yes, they, they don't have eyes. Okay. So they're choosing their targets. That's huge information. Yeah. Huge information. Actually, um, instead, like out of character, can I just say I moved this way instead? Yep. 
that's fine. I feel like I'm a druid, so it's like... Well, you still had movement left, so... <laughs> I don't want to be front line. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Since the, they're um... blind, they're mindless. They are just attracted to sound and movement. Uh, the like tremors in the ground, so they're attracted to anything like uh, that is obviously hostile. Something is has given them a directive, so they don't care about whatever big thing is coming. But they are definitely movement to anything else living in the area. You mean the the little um, enemies? Yeah. Okay. Um, Echo, it's your turn. Um, so what I'm going to do is one. I was going to set off where my glasses are. Right, one. Five, Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna, let's see, six. <laughs> Sorry. Uh oh. My stuff better not crash again. I'll be let's upset. See what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, <clears throat> I'm gonna walk. One, one, two, three, four, five, six octagons. One, two, three, four, six. I got that. Do I have, still have time left for a action? Or, uh, six. So you moved thirty. Yeah, you you can still do an action. Uh, I'm going to use my crossbow. No. Hmm. Has the guy noticed me yet? Um, they won't notice unless you get, uh, unless you movement. So he'll probably respond to your movement, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get my crossbow and go for this guy. So. Come on, game. Why are you locking up? I rolled it. <laughs> it's not showing up yet. Yeah, my, uh... <laughs> my game is, like, locked up. <laughs> The crossbow slowly glades through the air in slow motion. If they just pushed an update <laughs> to their app again. <laughs> Hold on, you big scary thing. <laughs> we got things going on. We're having a slow motion scene of a crossbow. Holy crap, dude. Yeah. Like, seriously, <laughs> what the heck is happening? Uh, I don't have... Dudes, my game has just completely locked up. Oh. It's got a weird log that says error network. That usually means they push an update. That's what happened last time. Oh, no. Hi, doggy. Hi, doggy. Get him. Get out of. Well, obviously I have internets because I'm not dropping frames or anything. And I'm still live. What the actual fuck, man? Ugh. Hey, stop. Stop your growling. All right, I'm going to pause the...
recording. Uh, All right. Okay. Be back. All right. Um, so, Corin finished her turn. It's Corrin Echo's turn. Right. Yep, it's Echo's turn. I reckon you should go for number 15. Just to start help clearing that path. You're muted, by the way. Push stop. I think you, you guys should come towards where I am. So, um, I'm going to pick off uh, the guy near me, uh, like you said, to clear the path. All right. Um, so, I'm, I'm oh. going to do exactly like I said. I'm going to go to six, six um, thingy, would you One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, so, as your movement each of you in your head you hear you need to get out of there yo <laughs> like so you heard that in your head it sounded like there was someone right next to you but uh with that voice it sent a chill through your whole body because someone invaded your psyche and implanted that message or that warning in your head also, I need to turn on the sound effects again. Okay. Right. Am I getting mind player vibes? Okay. I, I, I go to draw my crossbow and I think, I'm used to hearing voices, but I'm not used to hearing that voice. <laughs> it's a new voice, right? Um, yeah. Uh, um, uh, that's you, you're my... actually able to start hearing the, in the background, that the city is burning. Like, the, the fires have grown so oh. much from deep within the city that you can hear the roar and the sparks of the flames in the distance. You can see the smoke billowing. You can't see beyond, much further beyond that cathedral. It is only smoke. All right. Okay. Um, what way is the only exit from the town? Uh, the there is a gate to the west of town, so, so you were running the right way. Uh, okay. You're running west, yep. Right, okay. I'm going to pick off this guy with my crossbow still and um, call to the guys to come towards me. Um, so... so go ahead, act that out. If you're calling them towards you, go ahead and do that. Okay. Did anyone else hear that? Oh, am I going more mad? Uh, um, anyway, guys, I really don't think we should stay here. Come, come to... So, yeah, seriously, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I, I think... Seriously, I think, no. <laughs> I think we should get out of here. There's, there's fires, there's these guys. I, I, There's all kinds of stuff I just don't want to be involved with. I'm anxious. I'm, I'm just anxious, you know. I, I just no. I'm all not about this. So I'm going to take this guy off, come towards me, and then head towards the exit. I'm going to uh, right. Okay, where is phone? So you're gonna you're gonna roll at disadvantage because you're trying to shoot through. Um that giant barrel in front of your face. Uh, so just do that roll again. Drag it on top of him and we'll take the lowest roll. See if you hit him. I'm sure you will. Yeah, you still hit him. Okay, so go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> Nice. Uh, Chaos Spawn 15 has been smoted. Let me get rid of him. Okay. Um, um, right, I'm going to. Matter! Alright then. Um. 
Best thing to do right now, I'm gonna aim my crossbow at Chaos Spawn 1, try to help Hancock out. Um, so, let me get this open. Right. Actions. Uh oh. Oh, if I, if I roll a 1, uh -huh. <laughs> does that mean I'm gonna hit Hancock? Oh no! Well, that's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry for this, but I'm gonna try my best, I promise you. Oh god. That's not bad, 21. All right. That's a hit. Actually, you Obvious. know what? That's, that's be a Since hit. you guys know right now that they only have one life, if you hit them, I'm just, you're, they're just dead. You guys don't need a okay, real life. Okay, it makes it quicker. Yeah. yeah. So well, yeah, he dead. He so did. So you, you can still move. I can. Um, in that case, it's to the west. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Cool. Uh, combat. If you attack. Oh, never mind. Sorry. End turn. There we are. Hancock, your turn. Okay. Um. And if we uh, we don't attack, it's just double speed, right? Yeah. You so you can double, <laughs> double time. Get the fuck out. Yep. Excuse me. It doesn't sound happy. <laughs> I don't know. Might it be Humphrey? Turn is done. Oh, your turn is done? Okay. I just ran. All right. Um, I am going to uh, use my action to don my shield. Uh, let me get to it here. Is that Sophie? Yeah, she's hanging out here. Sophie Rose. I invited her over to... I invited her over to come see, uh... Come see her, but she keeps telling me no. She's uh. quite contrary these days. <laughs> All right. So perfect. I got my shield on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and run. Hold on. Let me see real quick. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and run through here. Five, ten, fifteen. You're, if you 20. do that, you provoke an attack of opportunity on that dude that you just ran by. Yeah, I know. Okay. Twenty-five. Thirty. All right. Yeah, he's probably not gonna hit you, but I'm gonna do it. He's going to swing at you. Attacks. There we go. And he's gonna try to rake his craw claws across you. And of course he hits <laughs> when you're trying to run by him. Alright. Take some more damage. You did. Uh, is that your turn? How much? Uh, you no, know. no, no. How much? Hold on. How much damage was he doing to me? He did uh, three to you. Um, I'm gonna use Stone's Endurance. Okay. So, um, it's 1d12. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, I'm gonna use, uh, Second Wind instead. Isn't so that I an don't action? Know. Um, I think using Second Wind a, is an action. It's a, it's a bonus action. Okay, go for it. So... I don't, I don't see it on my abilities. Oh wait, second wind. I don't know how to like use it though. What is second wind? I 
I always forget. It's like you I don't roll, think I can. Like I think I just have to dice. roll. You roll one of your hit dice, right? And I think you can. Yeah, it's one d10. One d10 plus one HP. So I'll just I'll just do it that way. Sure. So three. So well, you just healed the. Three you, yeah. You just healed the damage that uh. He did to you. Yeah. Okay. So um. I'm gonna let uh. Who is that next to me? Uh, I'm gonna tell Corin, um, to go ahead and run out and that I'll I'll kind of I'll kind of watch everybody's back and I'll I'll be following behind. So. Okay. Bam. Then it's my end of my turn there. I need to sneeze. Huh. Two. No. N now it won't let me move. Come on. There you go. Um, and you noticed on that last roar, Brokax, as you were running away, since you had that line of sight there, that that big thing in there is creating more of these things around it. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Uh, Wait, more of the chaos spawns or uh, more yes. of itself? More of the, the chaos spawns, but they are bigger and faster. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a, that's a big... A Texas That's a big get the fuck out of there. Get possible. the fuck out of there. <laughs> yeah. So remember, guys, if you avoid taking an action, you can move double your speed. Okay. Uh, that one is going to move here. No, don't, don't move the map. Uh, that guy already moved. All right, Corin, your turn. So, out of character, uh, you said I have one or two spell slots. You have two spell slots you can use. Okay. Before you need to take a rest. Uh, I am going. I'm going to try to use, um, thunder. Okay. Um. Spell. Darn map. Uh, um, hold on. Okay. Well, actually... I wanted to try to use Thunder Wave on the the big thing, but I didn't know how close. Um, he, yeah, he's too far. Okay. Um, so I am just going to. God darn map! It won't go down. <laughs> um, I'm going to, uh, I guess, just attack the the. The two um, people close to me. I can't really see yeah. the map. App's kind of like just moving, and it's not letting me move the character back. Um, I guess I'm just going to try to attack one of the the enemies. With what? Um, I think I'm just gonna use Thorn for now. Okay. Or, uh, yeah. yeah. Alright, so see if you hit him. Okay. You said. Why is my map doing that? Is a two. Um, you rolled your quarter staff. You, you didn't roll uh, your thorn whip. Okay. 
It, oh, it's under actions, isn't it? Yep. That's probably... Hold on. And you, you said it, it tells you the damage on the thorn whip? No, oh, you, no, you have to see if you hit him first. Okay, so just use the D. The what? The D. Oh. So the. No, no, you use the. Click on the cast button. Or click and drag that onto his face. Oh, is it the... Oh, okay, okay, I get it now. <laughs> Sorry about that. You're good. It's not something that actually says it. I... Is this supposed to be one dice or two? If it's supposed to be one, why do you have advantage? I don't know. I'm just gonna take the ninth. <laughs> I don't know why it did that. Because that's the first one I saw before the other one appeared, so... That's... Yeah, so check in the bottom left of your Fantasy Grounds to make sure the ADV thing isn't highlighted. But, uh, you hit Chaos Spawn 5, maybe... He's hurt, maybe that was it. I don't know. Somehow, people are getting advantage randomly, and I'm not sure why. So yeah, you, you still would have hit him. Alright, so he did. Okay. Uh, you can... Uh, you moved 5, 10, 15. You moved 20 feet. You have 10 feet you can move. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. I'm over here. I'm probably going to move next to there this you go. person. Right. Go. And now I'll be then in my turn. Yeah, I'm working out in my head. Um, how far can you dash? You can move sixty feet. Okay, if, cool. if you don't, if you choose not um, to attack or anything. And each thing is five, right? Yep. What was that? Pancake? Which way is the west? Left. I'm gonna go 55. I did the math wrong, um, yeah. No, you're I good. went up, down, up, down, down, yeah. Um, and that's it, end of my turn. Because I want to hide, but I want to head west, but I also want to kind of stay near my team at the that's same a, time. That's probably a smart idea. All right, then. Me! All right, then. 
here we go. Right, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I can go nya. Wait, why didn't you? Are you going to move or? Is it the, hmm? Eh. Yeah, ah, I got it. <laughs> so there you go. Isn't it? <laughs> well, it is a bit, yeah. So that's basically all I can do. I did end my turn and next. Pancog. Rokax and Corrin are so far back. That's what I'm hanging back. I'm just looking back at them like, well, better them than me. <laughs> oh, I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and that's your turn, Pancog? You just booking it with them? Yes. Cool. We're just gagging it up. Get out of it. Yep. Fuck them. Get the Not hell out. out. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Rook Hags, your turn, my dude. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say, Druid, if you wanna live, it's time to run. And can I. Can I grab her and drag her? <laughs> You're gonna just drag her <laughs> instead of just yes. running? <laughs> Why yes. <to> me? <laughs> All right. Um, so I, I was trying to look up um, rules on how that would work, but I mean, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can dash while dragging her. Um, but, I don't uh, think you can. I'd like to move as far but as I can. I guess, I guess it matters. That what really matters is if. If she's a willing participant to being dragged, I'll let you guys both dash. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so she's cool. a willing participant, so just follow Rokax. We're gonna go... What the heck? Uh, I'll One, let you move 40, two, just because it probably three, threw her off guard to get grabbed all four, of a sudden. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, there we go. There you go. Cool. Oh, so the other person that was back there is gone. <laughs> Alright. I didn't even notice. These things are trying to catch up, but they are definitely slower than you guys. Here we go. Next. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Did you want to um like remove the ones that are way too far to even catch us, like number thirteen, etc. Yeah, I'll, just to I'll really go that through the list and make on the next turn. Yeah. <laughs> just so I don't have to. Because the ones that are already too far, I'm not even moving them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> like, the only way they'd be able to catch up is <laughs> if uh, they were. You guys got slowed, but. Uh, Corin, it's your turn! Uh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> um. I think now would be a good time, I guess. Thunder Wave. It's not gonna affect the uh, big thing, but... N n Thunder Wave it, is, well, comes from you. So, like, yeah. it's a 15 uh, cubic foot originating from your spot, so you wouldn't hit anyone except for Rokax. Uh... Oh, this bad. dude just, like, picked you up um, and ran you in, and you're gonna stun him. Wow. <laughs> no! Wow, yeah, dude. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> you should um, probably just take your action to uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To just, just run. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. 
Wait, as a druid, if she was to turn into like, wait, she she's a druid, right? She you're, can't you're turn anything. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah I have to be yet. level uh, two. Okay. No travel form yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely. Wait, how many spaces can I go up? If you run, you can. Six. Um. No, well, wait. no, no. She twelve. Can, yeah, she can move twelve if you run. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be ready. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Hancock, you order up. No echo. <laughs> or echo. Sorry. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Um, I can run. Everyone, the only exit is west. The only way to get out of this situation is to dash and head for cover. We're heading west now. Everyone can follow. Okay. We're just gonna dash. This is such nice music to be running away from a giant monster. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, it's supposed to be cool. scary, but also <laughs> it's, it's all like this. Just sounds like hopeful music now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it started <laughs> off all creepy. <laughs> you guys might get to live. Oh yeah. Why don't you let me move it apart from one? Oh, here we go. Here's a better one. Come on. Uh, use a keyboard, your uh, arrow keys to move. It's a lot easier. There you go. Better music. You got the struggle sound. Boom. Lushu. My go. And I am off. 1, 2, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, god damn it. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I am good right here. I am still off. And turn. That's it. Nice. Hancock. Rocax. Rocax. 
It's your turn, dude. <laughs> I think he's muted. My yep, he got turned down all the way for some reason. No, my mic was just up. Uh, ah. All right, there we go. I just dashed. All right, that's it. Chaos okay, spawn. Those guys. All right, these guys. Oops, wrong one. It's telling me my battery, but but it Alright, Corin, your turn. Uh, I'm just gonna keep dashing. <laughs> That's uh, all we can really you will do at this point. Yeah, right? Yeah. God. I don't know how to. <laughs> this song is way too epic. Yeah, this is this sounds really good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big fan, big fan. I think, uh... <laughs> okay. Here you go, here's a chase song. And you said how many spaces? Twelve. Three. I am trying to move my character and it is wanting to move the map. So, uh, you, you said your keyboard doesn't work, right? For, uh, using them? Using your arrow keys? Good. <coughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Echo, you're good. Okay. Oh no! All the things are gonna be jacked up. Yep, they're super broken. <laughs> Hopefully, she joins back in the right spot. Was it her go? No. No. Yeah, what I meant is that it's just really hard to navigate the map. Oh, if you, uh... Because it you doesn't hold, want to move. If you hold down your middle mouse button on the map... Wait. ...and, and move your mouse, it'll that's scroll it for wrong, you. Wrong character. That's Pancock you're moving, by the way. Okay. All done. I'm here. Okay. My computer died. Your uh, joke buddy was counting. <laughs> is everyone's name wrong? Everyone's name's wrong. No! Alright, well, while you guys are doing that, I gotta fix this. Fuck. No, until... When when Pancake puts her camera back on, it'll revert back to what it was. You think so? Yeah. Alright. I Let's don't... See. I'm probably not gonna have a camera for the rest of this. Okay. What is... Because literally the laptop died. Okay, <gasps> I'm reopening my map, because my map is just... <laughs> 
Hi guys. What's up, dude? Nothing. Playing with a new tower. Oh, nice. Is it in? Hide out there until I can use my next Oh. Uh, how many spaces did you move so far? About Uh, if you use th if you choose to use thirty, you can still do an action. Uh, thirty wouldn't. Uh, I couldn't use any decent actions really. So I'm gonna use my next. Okay. Evasive. Huh. So, so apparently I closed out on the map and it it just closed completely out of fantasy grounds. Uh, oh, that's why it says you disconnected. Uh, yep. I don't know why I did that, but <laughs> I know go. I closed out of the map and not the. <laughs> You're gonna have uh, to reconnect. Jesus Christ. Oops. Um, that's... Oh, it's Pancog. Um, she's... Are you still in the game? You said your laptop died. No. Day. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm having to reload on the desktop. Okay. Because um, I mean, when I, when, I, when I said I died, I mean it literally just... Uh, overheated and screamed? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you want me to just move you then? Bloody murder. Move you yeah, just move west? Me. All right. One, two, three. Uh, four, since I'm not taking five, any action, six, so it's sixty, right? Seven. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. There we go. Um. Rokax, use up. Done. Sweet. Nope. Okay. No, I'm clicking on this guy. There you go. One, two, three. Corin, are you're still disconnected, right? Yeah, it's All right. not letting me back. If you want to go ahead and move for me, you can. I mean, move my character for me. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, Echo, your turn. Okay, I have a situation going on. Um, it seems this Saturday is cursed. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> What's the radius of my true strike? Uh, I think that gives you advantage on an attack. Okay. Or something. What's the radius on... Let's see. If you click on the the little square, it'll bring up information for you. So, uh, 60 feet. Alright, I have to update everyone's okay. names. Okay. Acid splash on the person in front of me. You gotta be kidding. Okay. Uh, drag the little box onto his head, see if you hit him. Am I? Hey, Basif. Yo. I'm still in there, so it won't let me rejoin. That's... Yeah, it does say you're still here. 
can even like kick me off or something. Let's see. Uh. I'm wondering if it's doing the same thing for me. No, it says, you, it says you completely disconnected. Like, you don't show up as a player anymore. Are you sure your laptop is, like, off, or did the screen turn off? Because it says you're still active, Pancake. Oh, my God. Computer, I swear to God, I'm going to murder it. Oh, you killed him, uh, Echo. Hey. Uh, 26. Hey. All right, Lushu. Okay then. So, which bit is the um, the exit? Is it like directly west? Yeah, just go straight west. Okay then. I'm gonna kill it. Okay, fuck this guy. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Sixty. There we go. I ain't fucking with a thing yeah. that screams like that, dude. I'm out. <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. off. <laughs> ah, fuck! Everyone's still sick. <laughs> it switched again. Oh. oh no. It keeps switching out from underneath me. All right. Echo stayed the same. I don't think it. Pancog. I don't think it wants to let me back it. Uh, what's it doing? Fuck! It keeps disconnecting. The code is just for the tempting resolve. Yeah. The connection. That part just takes forever, remember? No. All right, hold on. Gotta fix all these dumb things. Um. Yeah, it still says you're connected, Pancock. I wonder if I can oh kick God. you. Hold on a minute. Can I kick you? Kick. Why? Kick confirm. All right, now try. Hopefully, it doesn't mean you got banned. That would fucking suck. Uh, hopefully. Oh, it says you're disconnected. All right, try again. Okay. And while you guys are connecting, I'm gonna stop the recording. Alright, cool. Whew! Alright, we're slowly okay. figuring out how to dance around the weird issues. You gotta love Fantasy Ground for pushing through an update in the middle of <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you think it wouldn't be a problem? I think next time I'm gonna try to see if I can do it as a local and see if that's gonna do anything. I'm hoping it'll safeguard us from any of the updates they force onto their servers or anything and it'll just keep us contained on my own box i don't know how well that's gonna work though so we'll have to see <coughs> um did you go rokex yeah i'm done okay um <laughs> these guys move a little bit This is some epic battle music. It's it's some uh, chase music going on. I wonder how far away from the monster. I saw Corrin pop in and Pancog. Sweet. Uh, perfect timing because it's Corrin's turn. Oh. Can I move between here? Like. Yeah, just move straight through. Okay. Hold on. It's just like, no. No. Nope. 
Um. Uh. Oh. Can I attack from here, or? Yeah, you could use your thorn whip if you wanted. But uh, wait, okay. uh, you'd have to go back two spaces. Okay. Because uh, you you uh, moved. Okay. Uh. uh yeah, I'm gonna use thorn whip again. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry. It's all good. Okay. Uh, God darn it. I can't see the map. Oh, well. I'm gonna... Um... Oh, yeah, you hit him. I probably missed. Oh, it hit him? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, their AC is pretty trash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Echo, it's your turn. Like double, 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 double. On who? Uh, no, I'm sorry, enemy down. Fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Corin killed him. <laughs> fine then. Fine, don't see here. Right, I'll just dash. Cool. That's it. End of turn. And... Uh, one of you asked about the monster moving. He's been moving, so... <laughs> it can't... It can't... Check on the map. I'm checking Me! Yeah. Oh, I just I have um, That's a no. 5, 10, 15, I don't think 20, we're gonna make it go. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, I'm gone! That's it, I'm out the map! I'm off! Fuck all y'all bitches! I'm off! <laughs> Fuck you all! Fuck you all! You ran the wrong way! Get out of here! And. <laughs> hey, guy, I have my turn. Oh, here you go. Fuck this shit, I'm out. There you go. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, that's me. <laughs> 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I'm so close to being out. You can almost taste the freedom. I can't almost. Broke up. Ugh. I don't want to encounter the big scary monster. <laughs> oh, Lord, him coming. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm good. Alright, this one can't make it, so I'm deleting him. No, I'm clicking. <laughs> I think me and the other person's characters might die here. <laughs> I'm leaving you. <laughs> should have gone the other way. I told you! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about it. Oh. He's actually gonna be able to hit you. Oh no. Oh, no. And he totally misses. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, oh. And 
Corrin, it's your turn. Okay, um... Gosh. I'm probably just gonna take an attack of opportunity. Uh, you can run. actually, you can run through friendlies. And, uh... Oh, really? Yeah. So you can just, yeah, 5, 10. Yeah, you, so you, <laughs> you just whoop right around him. Uh, cool. Me to traitor, and Corrin just leaves Echo there by herself. Like, <laughs> oof. I've got, uh, yeah. I I can, I'm okay. Hey, Echo wants to be the big girl. And, you're right. Yeah, you're up, you're Echo. Right. He's getting there, getting drunk all the time, yeah? Whilst we were fighting pigs. <laughs> Right. Oh my gosh. That monster okay. is right on top. I'm gonna dash. Hopefully. Just make sure you don't walk next to any of the squares adjacent to him and you won't get a free hit on you. Okay, I'm right behind you. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 went around a little too high because if you think about it, there's like walls and you went around the stupid just drawing, so you, you got a couple extra feet. Or spaces, so I, I just moved you. I'm um, back up. Oh yeah, cool. You got it? Yep. Okay, uh, cool. Lucio's done. <laughs> I'm out! Right, Don't off, worry about me, boys. Let me just get that. Pango, hurry up! Come with me! We got this! Yay. Now we both just eat and delete it out of there, like, you know. <laughs> Rokex! Oh, you'll take an. Actually, if you use the disengage, you won't take an attack of opportunity, but you can't move your full action or full run. So what? Uh, what are you doing? I uh, just let him attack me. Okay. Uh. Let's see. But, oh, the stupid attack things I'm just disappeared. I'm happy to no longer be with the monster. <laughs> <laughs> He missed. Your AC is gnarly, dude. Good thing you put that shield on. You're just laughing it off. Been... Yep. Yeah, I saw it coming. Smart move. Uh, that's your whole movement, right? I'm done. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, they're gonna keep moseying. <laughs> We're about to get surrounded. <laughs> All right, and, um... that one's gonna. Swing at you, Corin. And he totally misses. And now it's your turn. Um, okay. Trying to think. Um, let's. Am I in front of um? Oh. In front of. Of what? I, um. What's her name? Echo? Echo? Yeah, you're right in front of her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think if I can... I don't think I can use Thunder Wave. I just want You to don't want to use that? Use Next hit friendlies because yeah. it hits them. Yeah. Um... I 
I might use entangle to try to entangle the person in front of us. Ooh, the smart. So we can keep. I actually think uh, entangle is a uh, an AOE anyway. Let's see. Entangle. It has a 90 foot range. Uh, it comes in a 20 foot square. Starting from a point within range for the duration of these plants turn the ground into difficult terrain. Creatures in the area when cast a spell must succeed a strength saving throw or be restrained. Creature restrained by the plants cannot use its action to make strength checks. So yeah. you you can actually cast this pretty much on any of these bad guys. It's gonna make it difficult for them to move through though if it's in yep. the path. Exactly. Um, oh, let's see. I did not. Yeah, you wanna you wanna drag your uh, entangle square over him. God, it's so hard to do this one. It's just one. All right. It's not showing the numbers. Yeah, it's shadow dice. It shows it to me. Uh, oh, so okay. You, so you hit. Um, so that guy. Um, Hold on, um, your first one was cast and tangle on spawn. Strength. Oh, he made he made his strength check. Uh, so he is not restrained. However, that's difficult terrain, and I'm gonna say that you cast it in a a wise way so it doesn't affect you and uh, Echo. Let me draw a thing. I said, uh, how big was the square? Did I say, sixty um, or twenty? No, that was the that was the range was oh, ninety. Yeah. Uh, twenty. Twenty. All right, twenty foot square. 20, yeah. So I'm gonna draw it so it's not gonna fuck you guys over. Square. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 5, 10, 15, 20. All right. That way, anything in this oops, area is now difficult terrain. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I don't know how. So good enough. Can You, you guys can also, see that square, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was also going to ask, um, th there's not any movement I can do after um, my attack. You can, uh, because that was okay. that was an, a reaction, or uh, your action. You only can move 30 feet, but you have to use, or wait, you can't use disengage because you used an action, so you'll get an attack of opportunity on you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, how many spaces can I? 30. Uh, you can move six. And uh, he's going to try to swing at you. Why does my combat tracker keep closing these things? All right. Oops. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if he hits you. Uh, man, these guys can't hit for shit. All right, he missed. <laughs> um, so next turn, Echo, you're good. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, Boof, this newts. You know what? I should have dragged her with <laughs> me. <laughs> I don't think you would have worked as successfully uh, as Rotex because I don't think your strength no. is as high. Uh, did you walk by the enemy, Echo? Did you touch any of the squares by him? No. Okay. Cool. And uh, I'm gonna say you guys, oh I'm gonna God. say you, you guys all get out because they can't f physically catch you anymore. So, oh, really? Yeah, they can't physically catch you. So let's. We live. <laughs> turn that sounds off. There we go. Um, but yeah, so you guys successfully. Managed to get out of there before that big nasty thing came to munch on your noggins. 
kind of changing things here. Um, how do I say this is done? All right, I have to delete these apparently. Um, so, Lushu, even though you popped out first, you all actually come out of the, the city at the exact same time. And as you come out, it feels like you ripped through like a, a barrier of some type. Like it took effort to get yourself through it. And even though a couple of you got out at quicker times, you all actually pop out at the exact same time. Now, when, and when you look behind you, there's no city. There's nothing there. It looks like just wilderness. It looks like it's unsettled area. The whole city is just gone. Is there any ash in remnants like the people from the people that turned into ash? Or is it just nothing? Nope. It's like, it's, it's like it never existed. I feel like they might have died before the city actually collapsed. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. So we're all we all just popped out in a forest and we're all just kind of standing there together. Yep. Well, you're not in a forest. Uh they're outside of those city the gates, outside of the city not barriers, walls, whatever area. It looks like there's a road that's leading up to it. But if you look back to where the city was, the road just keeps going. It looks like no one has settled here. The city has just been wiped from the face of the earth completely like it's it never existed. Is there no like tracks or anything? Huge, giant place. Nope. As far as you know, as far as you know, that city doesn't exist. But we still retain our memories of it, and yep. everything that happened to us, we all collectively remember. Yep. You you guys are, know okay. that you're aware of each okay. other. You guys know who you are. I mean, Corrin's new. Um, this music well, is a little too happy. Um, but yeah, so Corrin's uh, new. And you guys just popped out of this thing. Now you're just all confused as to what the hell just happened. Yeah. Um, is there anybody else other than us? Around? No. As it's far so as you, it's just as, us. Yeah. Uh, to the best of your knowledge, e everyone is either turned to ash or turned into one of those creatures. We met Corin wow. in the city. How did she survive? Well, obviously the same way we did. <laughs> because she was with us. We no, we met, like, we met before we met Corin. Oh, uh, why? They, they, I don't even think, I don't even think we know. Time. Yeah, we don't even know who they are yet. Like, they just escaped yeah. with us. They were fighting with us on the way. We don't, we don't even know how, how we survived either. So. Yeah. Um, oh, you mean from like the smoke and stuff? Yeah. 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 You. You, you guys... assume that the people that burnt with the that burnt with the city because they were part of the city, um, and I assume that Corin was also maybe part of the city because she was there, and we survived because we're not from the city. So I was wondering. Oh no! You're... Why is Corin? You're all there? Eldarians. You're all from that city. Oops. How do you? Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So I, I can I can I I want to step back the other way to see if see if I pop back in or if I'm just you know if I see if, if it's I, an illusion spell or something. Mm -hmm. Uh, you step back Especially onto solid. Oh, I thought that was one of you guys talking. Uh, you step back and you're walking on the gr the gravel road that is no different than the one that your friends are stamping on. Does anybody? Does anybody have? Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, addressing the group. Does anybody um, have any special knowledge of uh, of the magics or other realms? Um, have any idea why this might have happened? 
Um, Basically and, prompting somebody to do um, an intelligence check for either Ar Arcana or... I have, um, I have a history. I have a plus three. I can do it. I have magic. I might, and I, I have uh, something that I may be able to consult. Or wait. Uh, yeah. Who has the highest? Um, Corin has well, everybody can roll Arcana. Yeah, Corin has everybody Arcana. can roll. I have Arcana. So it is. Uh, yeah, I'm, gonna go Arcana. Can roll. I'm just um, I'm just minus one on my intelligence, so I would be terrible. Uh, Sixteen in Arcana. Oh. Nice. Yeah, I think nice I got a sixteen or nineteen. Yep. <laughs> nineteen. Very nice. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> Corrin is in able. Main. Wait, what? Where is it? I can't see it. It's in there. your skills. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice roll. Wow. So, uh, Corrin and Echo we all have a good idea. <laughs> are able to uh, combine their knowledge into what this possibly could have been. Um, Echo. Since you are aware of uh, the more of the dark arts, you were able to maybe to ascertain a little bit of information of what the heck just happened uh, with the purple haze and stuff that was going on. Uh, you have heard rumors of arcane magic that uh, breaks or that, that is broken from the natural realm. Um, and you've only heard rumors of a uh, potential arcane magic that comes quote unquote alive in a way and if what you saw was correct is you were actually being your city was being entirely swallowed and that's why those people disintegrated now Corin can bring uh, some additional light into that and she said and she can know that obviously that was an unnatural occurrence and there was some dark magic behind it you were also able to uh, ascertain that those creatures that you were fighting even the big one were not from this realm and you don't you none of you know how they got <laughs> into here because th that's knowledge you guys don't have yet no one has actually seen something like this happen before to your knowledge okay what else is there around us is it just the outskirts like is it, is it forest is there a, a road which will lead to another town yeah um, any sort of like distinguishing landmarks that we can see from where we're standing yeah there's a there's a road leading out to where your city was to uh continue heading west and you guys know um that there is a town further west maybe about 20 miles um, well, then I, I would return to the others and suggest that we start making our way to the nearest town. Um, we should probably warn them. Yeah, and warn them as well. That's a good point. Okay. Um, and everything so, around you, it's, it seems like uh, you're on a prairie. This is like grasslands. There's no uh, big trees or uh, mountains. It's just kind of small rolling hills and just very tall grass. Is... Uh, um... For those of the you know that, that know about this stuff, do you guys um, know of anybody that obviously wasn't inside the city um, that may be able to have more information on 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 what just happened and where this where this came from? Would would that be a uh, intelligence check or something? If you know someone, yeah. Would they? Yeah. Would they? Or if like through the history would tell us about somebody that might know. Yeah, I mean, somebody that they've known from their past, because they've all, well, probably more, uh, um, probably Echo more than anybody, really. Yeah. May or may not have studied, you know, their magic, you know, or I guess there's, uh, tribes of druids out, out in the area, too, so I, either one of them, I would, I would suspect, um, may have known some sort of uh mentor or trainer or you know know people that are well versed in in magic that may have an idea well unfortunately according to both their backstories <laughs> that doesn't work um 
Echo has kind of uh, been living in seclusion for a very long time. And okay. I'm not going to say Corin's background yet. It, Corin can tell you her background if she feels like it's relevant. So, when yeah. my background is being a noble and being a noble raised first, uh -huh. that give me more insight to connections. Uh, you could possibly That's have some point. connections in uh, in other surrounding towns, yeah. Okay, so what type of check would that be? Well, if you just well, know she... someone, then um, we can just say if there's someone in the next town, you could possibly just go check to see if you might know we'll someone. Or find that person. Yeah. Or find anyone right. that might know of someone. You could use uh, your noble status to maybe try to get some more information from a town. Yeah, so my, my question for you, Devin, is... Sorry, um, didn't mean to name drop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my question for you is, is you know, do they, do they have any recollection from whatever their backstory is from, uh, you know, any arc, you know, any magical s schools or, or scholars in the area? That's, that's really the question. Oh, are there any other are there, in the immediate yeah. area? No. Uh, no, I mean, do we know? Hey, can we travel it, rather than going to the town? Can we travel 20 miles this other direction right. to um, visit mm. this place that that um, knows about these things? And we can talk to them about what just happened, because we don't know if there's going to be anybody that can help us in that town. But there may be somebody that can help us elsewhere that is that's versed in this thing. So that's what I'm trying to figure gotcha. out. Gotcha. Um, not anything within uh, a few days of uh, actually ride, uh, because since your city was so massive, it pretty much either enveloped nearby cities or it pushed other cities out because everyone would just move to Aldaria. So only thing within a day's, at least a week's walk with you guys is uh, little villages. It would take you a, okay, a while so to get to a major city of someone that may know about that. Okay, so this this village is really our best option to to be able to see other people and regroup. Yeah, yeah, regroup. Okay, about, I um, concur. Then the oracle would the oracle be trusted to maybe have some knowledge, or is it a bit too untrustworthy? To maybe it might send us in the wrong direction because. I still haven't got it to where it needs to be, and it might be a bit grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right now, your oracle is silent. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, the village then, and Cor Corin would have the best <clears throat> links then. And the best um, standing as a noble. Um... I would uh, say, um... Pancog is the noble. Corrin's the druid. Pancog, that's it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to see if, uh... <laughs> like I'm in, uh, uh Pancog. Okay, I'm remembering names. Okay, Corrin has some, uh, nature. Any of you guys have nature? Besides Corrin? Uh, I thought I had took that. Apparently, I, instead of nature, I took Arcana. Well, oh, okay. any, I mean, anybody, I anybody can roll the intellect intelligence I check. Well, I, I, I know that. It's just more of a... You get a additional use of your skills if you're, you're trained in it or it makes sense kind of thing. Investigation, perception, survival, no. Um, mine was just... I was just curious who who had it. Um, if, um, out of care... I'm going to roll nature. I... No. <laughs> Lucio, you know that you are in nature. Yeah, I'm here! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what you guys None of us know what the fuck uh, is happening. <laughs> what you guys are doing right now is called skill dog piling, and it is discouraged. Um, essentially, yes, everyone can roll on stuff, but even if you roll high, if it makes zero sense that you would know anything about it, it's, that's what you're gonna get. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Like. If you are not, if you know nothing about magic and you roll a 19 on your Arcana check, you're still not going to know as much someone that actually knows about magic and rolls low. Make sense? Well, I mean, I have survival. No, no, yours makes sense. I'm just saying everyone was starting to roll nature for God knows why. 
<laughs> um, I got a nine. Would I know something? I don't know. It's <laughs> pretty uh, bad. Role. I guess you have, you have to ask. Or I was just wondering who had nature because you guys are out in the nature, but you would have to have a reason to roll nature and ask me something, right? Oh, okay, okay. I thought we were just rolling nature for something out of. No, I was just curious. <laughs> yeah, I rolled it because you had it. Pretty much. <laughs> no, I was just curious. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. I'd like to start heading into town, um, personally. Okay. So I'm ready even know for which that. way yeah, that is. Same. I yeah. head well, he said straight past. If we were to follow the road that was going through the town we were just in, 20 miles ahead of us is that town. So we know that we need to basically backpedal the way we just came and keep walking forward. Correct. That's it. Follow the road. Okay. So before we go any further, it's like one in the morning for you UK folks, right? It is. Okay. Yes. 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 Well, uh, what I was gonna do is after that whole thing went down, you guys were going to level up anyways. So, Ooh. if you guys want, Ooh. now would be a good time to <laughs> just, you guys can level each yourselves up and then we can just call it here and uh, start again next week. Oh, I got network commands, issues, and stuff. <laughs> no! That's the worst How time do to do it. Yeah, right? <laughs> What do we click to a level up? So, so open your character, and then uh, okay. open up the classes, and then you just drag your class back onto your character, and it automatically adds another level. And then where's you, classes? Uh, let's see. There's Is that on the um, fantasy ground? I always forget where it's at. I just changed it to level two. Uh, did it do anything for you though? Oh wait, rogue. Yeah, total level. Can I change that to two? No, level two. There we go. Yeah, done. Right, but <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know if that levels you though. Is my my point? Like it, it added not. a level, but I didn't change any of your stats. You see what I'm saying? Oh, correct. So might want to go back down to one. So we yeah. can do a we can do a short rest real quick, right? And get yeah, rid of you, our. You guys want to rest up? Yeah. Yeah. Menu. Rest. We'll just give you guys a, a long one. There you go. Um. How the frick? Oh, if you click down in the assets, I think. Nope. In the library, in your bottom right, you gotta open up the classes. Oh, okay. I get it. And, and then, then just. Click and drag and see if that does anything. Which one is it? Is it the the DB five E S R D data? DB PHB data. Yeah, use the PHB. Okay. And then hopefully that added stuff. Yeah, it did because I see stuff in yours, Brokax. It should have just added like one thing for me. Yes, there you go. It did it. Hell yeah, that's cunning awesome. action added to Lucy. That's awesome. Yeah. Sweet. Hell yeah. What did you do? So in uh, the yeah. bottom right of the Fantasy Grounds, there's that library <laughs> mm -hmm. button. If you mm -hmm. click that, and then the top area of that little window, there's a little thing called classes. Class. By the way, if you click that little bobble, it'll add it to your quick bar, so you don't have to do that anymore. But you open it's up the classes, and then go find. It's like it's. Huh? It's like it's unselected or something. Why? Yeah, mine too. It just it's doesn't. Mine has no. It, it doesn't have a gray um yeah. little circle yeah. near it. It's just unselected. Yeah, if you click that gray circle, it'll add it to your quick bar. Otherwise, you can just click on the the text and it'll open up the window. It's not showing me anything. Yeah, I've got nothing yeah. in the library, nothing, it's just saying nothing, mm. and I've got the gray door. Try loading the, loading the stuff, so go to options. Yeah, you might have to load that. The, the gear, set up. Try loading. options. So it's the gear at the top of the quick bar? Yeah. And then that's going to open up a menu, then click on setup. Right. And then yeah. click next. And if you click on 5e all rules, That'll load up your stuff. And that might take a minute to load it all. 
And then you click setup. Um, yep. after you click the bar. Yep. Where is the setup at? Oh, is it? Oh, you have to scroll down. And then, and then go click next. And then you should you should be in a campaign setup window. And then you just yeah. click nope. click the five e dash all rules. And that might okay, take I a hot minute. Okay, I clicked. I clicked setup. It says user manual wiki. Yeah. So click next. Yeah, mine's okay. just loading slowly. And then and then you see the five e all rules button. Yeah. All right, click that, and it might take a hot minute. And then when that finishes, it might error out saying some error or some things weren't loaded, but you should get the ones you needed. And then try that. Uh, open the library thing again. What do you do there? I'm just trying to load something. I don't know what it's doing. Yeah, it, it's loading up a bunch of of the rules. Hopefully, we won't have to do this every time. That wouldn't make sense. I think you do. Because I don't have to do that as uh, the GM. I don't have to tell it to load up my rules every time. Oops. That would really suck. Oh, right, guys, listen, I best be off now anyway. Me and yep. the missus, because I need to stop making some food for us, because, yeah, it's quarter past one in the oh, morning. We kind of got a bit carried away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I will come in and I'll help you level up when I come into the bedroom, okay? Cool. And do all the other stuff. Uh, so, what all I'll right, do guys. is I'm I'll actually be ending the stream, <laughs> but I will stay on Discord with you guys so we can get you guys leveled up. Okay. Sound good? Okay. No okay. drama. No yeah. drama. All right. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm gonna yeah. go ahead and take my leave. See you guys. See you guys. See you guys. Bye. Bye. I will uh, do. Oop, I gotta switch my mode here. Otherwise, everyone's oh, things okay. broken. Uh, but it's yeah. coming up with classes. Um, Your classes are showing up now. Yeah. Okay. Click and drag versus yeah. druid or something. Yeah. Click oh, your I druid one. On your character. Um, there's two druid ones. There's Xanath. Yeah, choose Thor the PHB one. Something. Wait. What one? The all I've got is um, the rule. The rule. Oh, what do I go on then? It's supposed to be onto. It's on your actual one. Yeah. Like onto the, the class level. All right, hold on. Boop boop boop. boop. All right, I'm muting myself on Discord. But um, thank you guys for hanging out. I'm, we're going to call it here. I'm going to help my friends level up their characters. But uh, I hope you guys had fun. I, I thought we were going to get further than that, but the combat lasted a lot longer than I thought. But it was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let me know what you're liking and what you're not liking. We're going to hopefully get back here on uh, Wednesday. Or not, wow, Wednesday. I don't know where that came from. Uh, Saturday is get, oh, again. And uh, we'll see where a quarantine takes us from there. But uh, remember to spay and neuter your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and races out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Faceiv. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. And uh, from all of us here at Quarantine, thanks for hanging out. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Let's go. Come on. <laughs>